All right, today we're going to play the Bismarck Solitaire book game. This is the first uh, book game that uh, Worthington Publishing uh, put out. Uh, this is all you need. Uh, the book, this is the whole game right here. Uh, there's plenty of game here, actually. 58 pages of game. Um, of games, right? Different missions that uh, the Bismarck's going to go uh, through. And uh, you need some dice and a pencil. Now, I usually use a pencil when I play this. But because uh, it's on video here, you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, dry erase marker. I have my trusty uh, plastic sheet here from a laminating machine. It's because it's got a, a slightly gluey underside. So it tends to stay, uh, not move around, right? Uh, so for video purposes, this will work uh, best. <clears throat> now, ideally with a pencil, you'd be uh, you know in a starting position, and then you'd sort of with the little arrows and stuff track where, in this case, the P, the Prince Eugene, and the, the Bismarck is a B, and the U-boat here. You know, you would see where the ship uh, ships uh, come, came from, and etc. Uh, but today I'll be erasing, and it'll be very clear. And I'm not going to go through all the rules, but as we play, you'll see how the game is played, and I'll I'll carefully go through how I'm playing, so you will learn how to play the game as you watch this. Um, Command the Pride of the German Navy and Bismarck Solitaire, an original book game by Worthington Publishing. Lead the German ships Bismarck, Prince Eugene, and U-Boat support as they take on the determined Royal Navy with one goal, to sink the Bismarck. We're going to play uh, this first mission here. Okay. We can uh, win a medal <laughs> if, we, uh, if we win. Uh, you have this event chart here. We're going to be rolling to determine what happens, all kinds of things, torpedo attacks, uh, air attacks, we can encounter, these are all the British ships here, including convoys, we get victory points, right, these green uh, numbers here are, are victory points we get for sinking these, <clears throat> This uh, the red numbers are how many die uh, dice we're going to roll to attack, Th these are our ships here, uh, the two ships and the U-boat, uh, so we get, you know, victory points and different things. Our mission objective here is uh, to make our way in here uh, in the shipping lanes and find a target and sink it. We have to sink a target. Most importantly, we have to return to Bismarck safely to Bergen or Brest. These two, either one of these um, ports, okay? And we have to do that after turn 16. So how do you win? You earn three or more victory points. This is easy. I mean, you, you come over here and you have you have hard. So now your missions are a lot more difficult. Okay. Um, after turn 16, we have to get our three victory points and get the Bismarck safely into one of these ports. Okay. If we manage to return the Prince, uh, the Prince Eugene uh, to port also to either one of these, um, after turn 16, we earn a medal. Okay? This is really a, a really cool game. Not difficult to play. It's easy. And it doesn't take a, a long time to play it. I mean, if I wasn't talking through the game here, we, I, you know, I played in 20, 30 minutes. You know, now, hey, you know, if, you, if you're going to, if, you, if you're going to be meticulous, it takes you a little longer. Because, for instance, uh, we're going to start playing this, but um, um, I studied, you know, these charts are all, all going to be different, okay, uh, for, for, for different games, right, different missions. So I study the, these charts because you, you need to know where you, where you want your ship to go, depending on what your mission, mission is and what you might want to try to avoid. Because we're going to be rolling the uh, two, uh, two dice here. A black and a white one. You can use two different colors, right? Um, and let's say we roll two six. We have to look two sixes right here. So we see what's going on there. 
In the pink area, we have the hood. In the red area here, we have the, the King George. So it depends. If we're in there, there's going to be combat. Okay? And we can invade combat. The British ships can, you know, try to run away as well after the first engagement, of course. The first engagement always happens if we run into these ships on here. And as you can see here, you have three tries for each mission, right? So disrupt British shipping, you have A, B, and C, you got three tries. Block British shipping, you got three tries. Disrupt convoys, you got three tries. Convoy hunt, you got three tries, right? So <clears throat> there's a ton of game here. You then, uh, you're supposed to go back here after you finish a mission, right? And write, write your information down here. There's, uh, again, there, there's just tons of replayability. I, I use a pencil right here. I use this pencil here. I got other erasers there, but I use this pencil. I make my markings lightly, you know, and I do the arrows and stuff, you know. But... Uh, and then I just go back and, you know, if I feel like it, I'll, I'll erase it, you know. But, but if I use pencil here, you wouldn't be able to see anything. So let's begin the game and you'll see how we play. I already talked about the mission objective, how we win. The turn sequence is pretty simple. The very first thing we do, actually, is we must place the, uh, the Bismarck and the Prince Eugene in... Um, in, in A, in row A here, okay, um, five, six, seven, or eight. So I'm going to put them here. I'm going to put the Bismarck here and, and the Prince Eugene there. And the U boat, uh, I'm going to put right here because the U boat has to go in column one, two, three, or four in this area here. I'm going to put the U boat right there. Now, why? Because I've, I've oh, well, this actually moved. <laughs> this thing doesn't usually move. Let me let me do this again because it was uh, it wasn't flush. I like to keep it flush up here. So Bismarck, Prince Eugene. I'm gonna put the U-boat right there. Um, I, I recommend you study this. Okay, that's important before before a mission. But that's the starting position. Okay, you can put the U-boat anywhere in here. But the Prince Eugene and the and the uh, and the Bismarck have to go somewhere in here. Now you'll notice that in these grids they're they're divided by four. Okay. Well, uh, these ships here are considered together because they're in the same grid. Okay. If they were, let's say, let me give you this quick example. Let's say we ran into this situation here. Okay. Well, we're safe because we're over here in 5A, right? So we're safe. But let's say we, we, we were in here somewhere. Well, we're going to bump into all three of, the, of these British ships. This is nasty right here, okay? Now, if the ships are together in the same grid, in the same one little square, then we, we, we attack first and we can choose to attack the same ship or different ships. Right, because we're in, we're in the same we're in the same grid. Um, the strongest British ship is going to attack the Bismarck. The second strongest will attack the Prince Eugene, and any other ships present are going to attack the Bismarck. Okay. Now here's what's interesting. If we happen to be, this is a grid here. If we happen, if the Prince Eugene was in this grid and the Bismarck was here. They'd be in two different grids. In this particular encounter here, okay, uh, the Prince Eugene would not be involved in the battle. It would all be focused on the Bismarck. So all three of these ships would attack the Bismarck if we were not in the same grid. That's why for this particular mission, I'm going to keep these ships uh, together, okay? Okay. Uh, it's important for this mission. Now, gee, Alex, why would you want to separate ever? Well, because when we get to harder missions here, here's a difficult mission. When we get to harder mission, we need to, like here's six uh, victory points. And, you know, sometimes we're going to go through these rounds, nothing's going to happen, 
right? Nothing's going to happen depending on what we roll. I may want to separate the uh, the uh, the Prince Eugene from the Bismarck, so that the Prince Eugene can help sink maybe some other ship that they encounter. You know, uh, this is war, okay? So it's risky. You know, yeah, it'd be it'd be nice to keep everybody together, everybody firing and, and attacking together, but you know, sometimes it'll bite us back. Sometimes we'll be on a grid where there's going to be some some kind of attack and. You know, we get hurt being together, and uh, and then uh, we're we're kind of limited. So, uh, to to on on different missions, I may I, I would want to maybe separate these ships so that the Prince Eugene can go out there and get some work done. Okay, primarily we're concerned with the uh, with the um, with the Bismarck. If the Bismarck is sunk, it's game over. Okay. Like and like here, if we return to Prince Eugene to port, we get a medal. But hey, you know, screw the medal. Uh, primarily, we got to keep keep the Bismarck uh, alive, and back into one of these ports after turn sixteen. If the if we can manage to get the Prince Eugene in there too, fantastic. If not, screw the medal. At least we got the Bismarck back. Okay, but again, for this mission, I'm going to keep them together. So. Uh, can you see that? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Let's begin. First thing we do is set up our our ships and our U-boat, right? And then we roll. Turn sequence. About. I'm, I'm going to go through this carefully so you learn how to play this, okay? We roll two dice, two dice to determine the event chart, like I showed you earlier, right? So here we go. We rolled 6-4. Six, 6-4 four. Six, four is right down here, okay? Doesn't affect us. Because we're in row A here, okay? So the blue area here doesn't affect us. These are British bombers, and it's an air attack. Uh, luckily, we're over here in A. It, uh, it's not in any area, not even the U-boat, so it, uh, it doesn't really affect us at all, okay? So that's what happens on this first turn. Thankfully, nothing happened, okay? So once we determine the event chart, we roll these, determine the event chart. We resolve any air attacks. In this case, because they're bombers, that we would resolve the air attack. And then we resolve any U-boat attacks. And then, number four here, we resolve ship combat. And you'll see ship combat, believe me. <laughs> Turn one, okay? You will see ship combat, so uh, just hang in there. And then we move our ships... And mark our location. We don't have to move them. I, I can choose to leave them right where they are. Uh, and then we mark the uh, the turn and we repeat the sequence. Okay, that's those are the turn of events. But I am going to move uh, this way. Okay, I'm going to move both of these into this grid here. So I'm going to put the Bismarck there, the Prince Eugene there. I'm going to leave the U-boat where it is. Now, if I was working with a pencil, you know, I'd put a little arrow and stuff because, you know, this is a fine point. I can do that. There. This is a nice pencil, by the way. Nice big eraser. I have other erasers there, you know. Uh, it's a nice, nice, nice pencil, okay? Uh, I, can write, I can write small. I can write lightly. You know, I can do the whole tracking. Everything is neat. But for, the, for, for video purposes, I'm going to erase the initial location. That way, it's clear. You can see clearly where the ships are, and this darn thing moved. I don't want this thing to move, man. It's a problem if it moves. That's the end of turn one. That's it. That's turn one. Let's go to turn. Let's go to turn two. Let's see what happens in turn. We moved the ship. I left the U-boat exactly where it is. Turn one is over. We go to turn two. Sequence of play. We roll two dice to determine the event chart. So here we go. Three one. Three one is up here. Oh boy, uh, we are at a four. Okay, we we're clear. A three, we would have uh, encountered a minefield. We're at a four, so we're safe. Okay, both our ships there. Now the U boat. Let me see here. U boats in D three. D three is a British sub. It says here one hit to ship of choice. Now, this book is very clear that 
unless it mentions U-boat specifically, uh, we don't apply this. So this British sub uh, would would hit a ship if there was a ship in that area, one of our ships. But we have the U-boat exactly in that location, so nothing happens. Okay, the 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 instructions here are very clear. Uh, see, like here, it'll mention U-boat in a couple of dip different places. It'll mention U-boat specifically. If they're talking about ships, they're not talking about the U-boat. The U-boat's not a ship. Okay, so. Uh, that was a British sub. We have no ships there, so we're good. Okay, so that's the end of turn two. Boy, this seems like such a, you know, just such a peaceful game. We're just, uh, actually, that wouldn't be end of turn two because I haven't moved. You know, you're just, just cruising around the ocean, you know. Uh, this is fun. Yeah, uh, things will get ugly very quickly. I will move the Bismarck here. And the Prince Eugene there. I'm going to leave the U-boat where it's at. Now there's a reason for this. Because I've already studied this map. And I want the U-boat there. Okay. For reasons that you may find, find out soon. Now we mark the end of turn two. Now we begin the sequence again. Right. We get two dice. And we roll these. You see how easy it is to play this? Three five. Three five right here. Oh. This is very ugly, but luckily we're nowhere there, right? We're, we are here in A3. A3 is completely, uh, right here, A3 is completely clear of this mess. These are three British ships together. This would have been disastrous. And the U-boat's nowhere. So if the U-boat was there in this area, we could choose to, to attack with the U-boat. But the U-boat, we only, we only have three uh, squares here for strength for the U-boat. Uh, and if we roll one to three, it's a hit on whatever ship we choose, like in this instance. If we, if we roll four, five, six, it's a, it's a hit on the U-boat. So I might have not, you know, chosen to do that. But, but, but right now we're all clear, so it's all good. Now I'm going to move. No diagonal moves, right? So the Prince Eugene can move up to three spaces. I'm going to have it go one, two, three. I'm going to have the Prince Eugene here. And the Bismarck's going to move right there. Okay? So they're still in the same grid. Let me erase this. Uh, I am... Um, I'm going to move the U-boat down here. The U-boat only moves one square, right? It's slow. So I'm going to leave the U-boat there. Okay, everything is nice and clear. That's the end of round. Wow, it's incredible how fast this, this dries, this pen. It's incredible. Um, like I have a whole bunch of these because these dry. If I forget them out here for like 10 minutes, I come back and it's completely dry. It's crazy. Um, all right, now we're at turn four. Let's see what's doing. Two five, two five. We're over here. Okay, we're gonna encounter a ship. Okay, now you're gonna see how battle works. Okay, you ready? This is how battle works. Because we have both the Bismarck and the Prince Eugene in the same grid, meeting up with the Hood here, right? The Hood's down here. The HMS Hood. It's in this pink area here. Okay, which is B. Three, right there, B3. Now the U-boat is in the area where the Rodney is. Here's the Rodney. Now the U-boat can just choose to stay quiet. We don't, we don't want any trouble. We just stay quiet. Or the U-boat can choose to attack like I explained earlier. On a roll of one, two, and three, it's a hit on the Rodney in this case. And uh, on a roll of four, five, six, it's a hit on the, uh, the U-boat. I may choose to remain quiet. We are going to have to engage, though, with the hood, which is right down here. Now, the hood could give us, if we sink the hood, we can get three victory points. <laughs> and then we can just hide the rest of the game, right? Or try to hide, because that's what we need. We need to earn three victory points, and then after turn 16, get our ships to these, or primarily the Bismarck, to one of these uh, ports for to safety. Okay? 
So this is how battle works. We roll the two dice, we determine the location, now we resolve air attacks, there aren't any. We resolve U-boat attacks, we're not going to do any. Now we resolve ship combat. This is how ship combat works. We have our, our sh uh, how many dice we're going to roll for each ship here on the red. right? The uh, Germans attack first. So I take three dice because the Bismarck has a power of three against the hood because we're in that area. And we're going to attack. A roll, very simple. A roll of one, two, three is a hit. A roll of four, five, six, a miss. Okay? Very simple. We got two hits. So we uh, put two hits on the hood here. Okay? Now, because we're on the same grid, the, um, the Prince Eugene is going to attack. Now the Prince... Uh, Eugene uses two dice. That's the, 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 the power, the, the strength of it. All right, so here we go. And we got one hit on the hood. It's nice to meet these ships alone like that because we get... Uh... Now the hood is always going to attack the Bismarck. These ships are always going to attack the Bismarck first. And they have three dice. Three. And one hit on the Bismarck. Okay. Now, obviously, if all these boxes are filled in, it's game over because the Bismarck is sunk. So we got uh, the hood managed to hit the Bismarck one time. Now, remember, I think I mentioned this earlier. Because it's not clear in the rules, right? Uh, this is not the strength. I th initially thought this was the strength. Uh, the strength is how many boxes we have here. Now, because we have both of these ships, we have a lot of these boxes still available. These ships, you know, the Bismarck only took one damage. So they're much more powerful than the, the Hood. So the British uh, ships will always try to evade and run away if they are weaker than our ships. Okay? So it's based on boxes, right? So if the Bismarck had met up with the King George, if the Bismarck had more white boxes than the King George after the initial encounter, King George would, would try to run away. So the roll for the hood here, now this will determine whether the uh, attack phase is over or we're going to continue. We may actually sink this. They want to run away because they're weaker than us. So uh, if we roll a 1-2-3, they evade. Four, five, six, they have to stay for another round of fighting. They have to stay another round. This is bad. This is bad for the hood. It's probably going to die now. It's pro we're probably going to be able to sink it. So now we attack it again. Because, I mean, we can choose, by the way, to close in. Let, let, let's close in so I can show you how this works, right? We can choose to do long range or we can choose to close in. I roll one die on the ship battle tactics. I'm going to choose to close in with the Bismarck, okay? So we roll that. It's a six. Ooh, it says take two hits, but add one die to your ship firepower this round. Okay, so I took two hits closing in, okay? So we have to take the two hits. Wow, that was bad. But I'm going to add another die, so I'm going to have four dice. Had I rolled a three, a four, or five, I would receive one hit, but add a die. If I had rolled one and two, I would add a die to my uh, firepower this turn. So that's because we chose to close in. We could have chose to do long range, which is a little more defensive. And we can also, at the end of any uh, initial encounter, we can choose to escape as well, to evade combat. After the first round. We always have to engage on the, on the first round. So now, because I rolled here, I took two hits, but I get to use one more die. I'm going to roll four dice against the hood. Any one, two, and three is a hit. Oh no. Wow. That's incredible. I missed every single shot. Wow. Darn. All right. Now the Prince Eugene is going to attack. Prince Eugene got one hit on the hood. Now they fire back. Now, of course, they're going to fire at the, uh, they roll uh, three dice and fire at the Bismarck. And it's one hit on the Bismarck. We're already getting some damage here. 
Now, battle is not over. Okay. Now we could choose to we could choose to evade. But because we're stronger, right? They only have two boxes. We have all these boxes here. Um they will they will try to evade. They will try to run away. So let's see if they succeed. They managed to succeed. They rolled a three. They managed so that's the end of combat. They run away. Okay. So now we resolve ship combat. We move our ships and we uh, do an, uh, we mark our turn. So now you saw how combat works. I'm going to move the ships, uh, the prins here, the Bismarck right here. And I'm going to leave the U boat there. I'm going to so I erase this. That's where they were before. That's the end of turn four. Wow, this pen is already drying out. Crazy. Uh, that's the end of turn four. Uh, I actually, with this game, you know, with Gettysburg and the other ones, I don't mind using the dry erase, but with this game, I prefer using the pencil, to be quite honest with you. All right, that was turn four. Now we, uh, we see what happens. A 4-1, which is right here. Ooh, okay. Wow, we almost encountered the King George here, but we're in... Uh, C3, so we're good. We're right there. The U-boat, though, is in the presence of the Repulse and the Convoy. I mean, uh, the Repulse and a, and a Convoy. Now, I'm, I might want to attack a Convoy, because if we take one Convoy out, that's one victory point. So I'm, I may choose to do a U-boat attack, uh, because it's D3... Oh, no, D3 is, um, sorry, it's the King George. No, I'm not going to bother attacking the King George. Sorry, I thought we, we, were, we were in here. But actually, we're right in here. And there's no way I'm going to attack the King George. It's too big. I mean, I, I might be able to do one little bit of damage to it, but I'm just going to ignore it. The U-boat has that choice to just, you know, when they meet a ship, to just ignore, not attack it, okay? So, uh, so that's what happened here. Uh, this is turn five. We resolve all the attacks and all that stuff. Now we can move the ships. I'm going to move them over here. I'm going to put the Bismarck and move up to two space. I'm going to put the Bismarck here. I'm going to put the Prince Eugene right there. And I'm going to leave... Oh, no, this moved. Darn it. I'm going to leave the U-boat where it is. Okay. You'll, you'll see. Hopefully you'll see why. Alright. I want to actually try to get the Bismarck over here. Because maybe if we roll this I can get a ship repair. That would be helpful. What is going on here? This thing usually doesn't move at all. That was the end of turn 5. Let's go to turn six. Four two. Right here. It's the exact same grid we were in. Um, I didn't move the U-boat, so uh, it's still in the presence of the uh, the King George. And um, and yeah, and we're in C, so we're we're not uh, engaging with them. I'm going to move over here, the Bismarck here, the Prince Eugene there. And again, I would be doing the little arrows and stuff and so we know where the ship started and where they went and all that. But, but for visual purposes, it's better like this. I'll leave the U-boat there where it is. That's the end of turn six. Oh man, this thing is moving today. I don't know why. Why is it moving? You know what? I you know what? I I didn't have it flush when we started playing, you know, like right up against there, you know. I didn't have it like that. That's why it's moving. But we'll make it happen here. Uh again, everybody, we need to earn three victory points we haven't sunk anything yet and 
after turn 16 we need to get the Bismarck into the port so we can achieve our mission so now let's roll we're turn 7 5 3 5 3 is up here um, it's a torpedo attack we're okay because we're at C1 so we're our ships are not there the U-boat is in D3 the U-boat's right there with the uh, swordfish planes so it says during air attack phase roll two air attack dice for British carriers apply hits on one to three to ships on of the player's choice do not roll for Ark Royal if sunk uh, yeah Ark Royal's here and it's still there because there's a chance that you can sink the Ark Royal over here so it's still available. If we were to sink the Ark Royal, we would then mark that box and this box over here. So, again, uh, the U-boat is not a ship, right? This is clear in the rules. So this does not affect the U-boat. Okay? Now, if I had any ships here, this would affect. But the U-boat, it does not affect the U-boat. So, we managed to... Uh, clear another round. I'm going to put the the Bismarck here and the Prince Eugene here. You see why, right? It moves two spaces and they and the, the and the Prince Eugene moves two spaces. The Prince Eugene can move up to three spaces. And of course, we can expand fuel to move a fourth space or a third space, whatever. Uh, the U-boat um where can the hood show up? Because I'm interested. Uh, I'm going to move. That's E. That would still be good. I'm going to move the U-boat up one here. I'm going to put the U-boat there. It's still in that same grid, but I think I'm going to get the U-boat to the C grid next turn. That's the end of turn seven. You gotta be careful too with the uh, dry erase because I got my hand all over here then I end up erasing stuff. That's why I, 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 I'm telling you I prefer playing this particular book game with a with a pencil. And then again, if I feel like erasing it later, I just erase it, you know, just write lightly. Let's see what happens now. This is turn eight. 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, all the action is down here, and we're nowhere near it. Okay, so we don't have to worry about it. That's good. So, uh, nothing to resolve. Mm, I'm going to move... I'm, I'm trying to roll this, right, so I can get repairs. I'm going to put the, the Bismarck here and the Prince Eugene here. I'm going to move them here. And again, I don't have to move them. I can just leave them sitting there if I want. But I don't know. We're getting to... That was turn 8. After turn 16, i got to get them. I'm, I'm going to try to bring them up here. And then shoot across here. You know, maybe I'll turn up in here or something. Or, or turn inward and then... But this is the port that I'm going to shoot for. Oh, and I am going to move the U-boat up here. U-boat hasn't really done anything. Uh, well, not not much has happened here except the attack on the, uh, the HMS Hood. That was turn eight, right? Uh, boy, I hope uh, you know. If I start talking, you know, I get confused. I, I, yeah, maybe we're on turn nine now. Okay, here we go. A five six. That's over here. Okay. Uh, there's going to be action for the U-boat. The U-boat because of the hood. I'm interested in attacking the hood because the hood's almost sunk. It's got damage to it. So the hood is in... I mean, the, our U-boat is right in here where the hood and the Prince of Wales are. I don't care to attack the Prince of Wales. Oh, we're safe over here with the Bismarck and the Prince because we're in uh, column one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a U-boat attack on the hood. 
that's one die. If I roll a one, two, three, it's a hit. If I roll four, five, six, it's a hit on, on the U-boat. So here we go. Wow. And we got hit. That sucks because I was hoping to hit the hood. But we start messing in an area with two ships are together. We ended up getting hurt. Now we make our moves. I'm going to leave the U-boat there. I'm going to move the Bismarck here. And the Prince Eugene here. Oh, this pen is already causing me problems. you got to be kidding me. I'm going to move them here. Right there. Bismarck there. And the Prince right there. And I'm going to leave the U-boat there. And that's turn nine. God, this pen is already giving me trouble. Um, we got a hit on, on our U-boat. Let's see what happens now. We go back to the turn sequence here. Getting excited. A 4-3, which is right here. Oh boy. We have encountered the repulse and the convoy. And a convoy. Because we're an F one right there so we encountered the repulse and a convoy the u-boat is nothing okay it's right outside the range four three so you will witness combat again now what's interesting here is that the rip repulse has six boxes six seven eight boxes we have more so after this initial encounter, these ships are going to try to evade. But right now, they're going into attack mode. What I'm going to do is have the Bismarck attack because we're in the same grid. The Bismarck's going to attack the Hood. I'm going to have the Prince Eugene attack the Re uh, um Yeah, I'll have the Prince Eugene attack the Repulse. Uh, now... What's going to happen is uh, the hood is going to attack the Bismarck. So I'd like to sink the... That's why I'm going to attack the hood with the Bismarck, right? Because I'm hoping to sink it. Uh, because otherwise it will attack the Bismarck. It's got three dice. And I'll have the Prince Eugene attack the Repulse, okay? Because on the following... Uh, when, when the British get to attack, the, the, the hood will attack... Uh, the Bismarck, the Repulse, is the second strongest ship uh, it'll, uh, in terms of power, right, with the dice. It's good. See, this is the confusion. When people say, in the rules here, it says, oh, the strength. And, and I keep referring to this as the strength, right, how many dice you roll to attack. But this is the strength here. Uh, but in this case, the second, if I'm not mistaken, right, I mean, that's how I've been playing it. It, it, the let me show you it says here uh, it's under attack let's see here let me see if it's in here Well, I don't know if I'll be able to find it right now. Ships out no targets. I'm going to put my glasses on. Um, pa, 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 maybe up here. Is it here? Because I just wanted to confirm. Because it says that they will... Um, the, the, strong, the, the second strongest ship... I think it's here. This ship kind of promises the fire. See, uh, okay, when the British, uh, yeah, it says the strongest British firepower. Okay, so that is correct. The strongest British firepower, which is the red, but their strength is how many white boxes they have. So yes, uh, in this case, let me go back. I want to attack the hood first because I'm hoping to sink it because this has the strongest firepower and it's going to attack me.
it's going to attack the Bismarck. And I already got some damage here, you know. And I, so I'm going to have the Prince Eugene attack the Repulse. So let's uh, let's do our attack as we get to attack first. I roll three dice against the Hood, and we got three hits, and it's sunk. This is great. So we already have three victory points. This is good. Okay, this is really good because we we're gonna we hopefully if we don't if we don't get into more trouble, we already got our three victory points. We just need to get these two ships back here after turn 16 to one of these ports. Okay, that's all we need to do. That was that was good. Now because we sunk this, this thing won't attack me. Of course, the repulse is going to attack me now. But uh, we're going to have the Prince Eugene attack the repulse with two dice because that's the strength. And it's one hit on the repulse. Now because there's only one ship left, right? The strongest ship would fire on the Bismarck, but there's only one ship left because the Bismarck uh, sunk the hood here. The Repulse will attack the Bismarck. They always attack the Bismarck. And it's with uh, Firepower 2. And they got no hits. They missed. Okay. Now, the Repulse will try to evade. It will try to run away because obviously it's weaker than us. So it'll try to run away. Let's see if it does or not. It does not. It's a 6. It's going to stick around for another round of fighting. Either courageous or, or stupid. So the Bismarck is going to attack. Man, maybe I should close in. <laughs> Have an additional die. We could sink that thing too. I'm going to do that. I'll sh I'm going to show you guys how to do this again. I'm going to close in. Okay, here we go. Well, actually, if I close in, I'm going to end up getting more hits. Forget it. I'm not going to do it. You already saw how it works. So three dice. I'm going to roll three dice to attack the Repulse. I got three hits. Three hits. Now the Prince Eugene's going to attack. Got one hit. This thing's almost sunk. And now the Repulse will attack the Bismarck. Because it's the only ship left. And they always attack the Bismarck. And two misses. Wow, this Repulse, there's something wrong with their, with their weaponry. They missed... Uh, a bunch of shots on the uh, on the on the Bismarck. Now they're going to evade. If they roll one, two, three, they 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 escape. If they roll four, five, six, they stay for another round. They they're gone. They got the hell out of there S smartly. So now we uh, resolve ship combat. We move the ships. Like I'm going to move them down here. I'm going to put the Bismarck here, the Pris Eugene there. Uh, what am I going to do with that U-boat? Should I just leave it there? I want to leave it there because maybe I can ship a uh, sink. Well, I've already done the hood, so yeah, I don't want... I wouldn't mind doing a convoy. Now, I'm going to start moving that U-boat over here. I'm going to expend a, um, a fuel... To get it to move twice. So I'm going to move one, two. I'm going to move it here. The U-boat. Okay. If you expand a fuel, you can move it uh, one extra space. Because they, they only move one space at a time. Right? So that was the end of turn 10. Now we do it again. Let's see what surprises await. One, two which is right up here. There's nothing going on up here, right? Nothing going on here, so we're good. We are good. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. I'm going to move... I'm going to move one up. The U-boat, I'm going to move here. Okay. And these two I'll move here. The Bismarck and the Prince Eugene. I'm, again, I'm hoping to repair. That's the end of turn 11. Let's see. Let's see what happens. 
Uh oh. We're clear here. The U-boat though is in the U-boat can attack the Rodney. No, I don't care to. I'm just gonna ignore the Rodney because it's you know, what am I gonna do? One one damage to the Rodney just to irritate it? No, I'm gonna leave it alone. So now we're gonna move here. We can move two, right? So one, two. I'm going to move the Bismarck here, the Prince Eugene here. Prince Eugene can move up to three spaces. I'm going to bring the U-boat up one here. And, um, and that's turn 12. Let's see what else happens. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two is right over here. Wow, we just... Wow, I get a chance to sink the Ark Royal here with the U-boat. That's pretty cool. You see that? And we just... avoided hits on our ship guns. By being here on two, if we were on the third column here, that would have that would have been uh, we would have uh, they would have hit our guns. That means our firepower would have reduced. Um, on a roll, right? On a roll. But the Ark Royal, this is interesting. If a U-boat is in the zone, which it is. Roll a die. On a 1 to 3, the Ark Royal is sunk, and you earn 2 victory points. So, come on, U-boat. Right there. Right there. Come on, U-boat. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's roll 1, 2, or 3. And we rolled a 1. We sunk this. I'm not going to mark the book, right? But we're supposed to uh, erase the Ark Royal here and up here. So we'll remember that it's uh, that it's sunk, or maybe I can write here. Ark Royal sunk. Wow, I don't, I'm not even sure I'll be able to read that in a minute. Um, so that was a good job by the. Uh, we got two VPs. So we put here one two. These are our extra VP. So we already got three. We got five victory points. Uh, that was good. That was actually good. Now I'm going to move two more. I'm going to put the Bismarck here, the Prince Eugene here. I'm going to move the U-boat here. Now we're getting into uh, dangerous territory. I mean, the Bismarck could be conceivably sunk here. We have to be. We have to be careful. You know, we have to. We have to be careful. Well, I don't know. I had the book down here. I don't know if you could see any of this stuff down here. But yeah, we put the extra VP right there. So and we move these uh, ships up a little bit. Let's see what's doing. Uh, was that? Wait, I did not. No, I just moved them. I did not mark thirteen. Right? I don't think so. I think I forgot. Listen, if I did, I apologize. You know, it's just I start talking and I forget. But I, I think we did. Now we're at turn 14. Are we? Or did I mark 12? I was so busy writing the Ark Royal sunk and whatever. 3-3. Uh, 3-3 three, three, uh, three, three is up here. Nothing here for us. We're in column three and nothing for the U-boat. So nothing, nothing's going on here with 3-3. Three, three. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move the Bismarck here, the Prince Eugene here, the U-boat down one. Okay. And uh, that, that was turn 14. God, I hope I didn't mess up on these turns. Um, I mean, if anything, I'm one turn ahead, right? I may, maybe made one mistake because I didn't pay attention. Or, or one turn behind, actually. All right, let's roll and see uh, what the event chart says. 
four three right here and now we're going into battle again and this is this is dangerous because at this point i already got the victory points i'm trying to get the bismarck safe and uh we're at h4 so we encounter a repo the repulse oh it's almost dead and a convoy And a convoy, so that the convoy uh, wouldn't is not even going to attack. We can we can uh, we can try to sink one and get an extra victory point. That'd be cool. So that's where we're at. Uh, the U-boat is also in that. No, we're in F. Yeah, the U-boat's also in that area. So the U-boat could attack a convoy. Which. Let's see the sequence here. Resolve air attacks. There are no air attacks. Resolve U-boat attacks. Okay, I'm going to do a U-boat attack against the convoy. Okay. Oh, and I rolled a five. That means we got hit. Oh, that's extra VP. Sorry. That means we got hit. One more and, and our U-boat's gone. Because with the U-boats, it's... Uh, a one, two, three is a hit. Four, five, six, a hit against us on the U boat specifically. Now we go into combat again against the repulse. And we could hit the convoy if we want. Obviously, the Bismarck's going to attack the repulse. I'll have the Prince Eugene go for a convoy. You know? Let's do that. So I roll three dice for the uh, Bismarck. And we sunk it. The repulse is gone. So we got two more victory points. Boy, we got five. We got seven victory points in this in this battle. Now the uh, Prince Eugene's going to go ahead and uh, try to attack a convoy. Why not? And it's a hit. So we got an extra VP. I'm going to put it here because we destroyed one convoy. Now, I don't know, I'd have to look in the rules because I rolled two dice. If I had rolled two hits, would that be two convoys that I destroyed? I don't know. Uh, I actually haven't run into that. That's a good question because the convoys are independent here. So if I had rolled two, I, I suppose so. That means I would have destroyed two convoys because they don't, the convoys, they don't do anything, right? So they're easy targets. Um... Obviously, we sunk the repulse, so the, there's no, you know, well, th there's a convoy. But I guess the convoy is, will try to evade now. I mean, the, how, do, how do we do convoys? Uh, that's a good question. We're going to try to evade at least one round. Yeah, even convoys. So I guess let's see if the convoys get away. If they not, if they don't get away, we we're gonna attack them. On a one, two, three, they get away. And they got away. Because it says right there. Otherwise, all British ships tried to evade after the first round. On a one, two, three die roll, they all evade, even convoys. Now I'm wondering if there's only convoys. I guess you do roll to see if they evade or not. I mean, they're just sitting ducks. I, I, I haven't run into that problem either. Like, let's say that you, it's just maybe there isn't just convoys. Convoys are always with uh, ships. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see just convoys roaming around by themselves. Let's see. Right, so in this case... Yep. I guess, uh, I don't know, if it's just the convoy, because we sunk the repulse, so if there was only convoys left, would we keep attacking it if it didn't evade? Or manage to try to evade? Who knows? That's an interesting question. So we're done there. Uh, I'm going to move the Bismarck here, the Prince Eugene here. I'm going to leave the U-boat exactly where it is. That's the end of turn 15. I think we're going to win this. Let's roll on the chart. 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, 
three one is up here. We're in uh, H five. Oh wow, we get we ran into a fuel tanker, so we get one plus one fuel per ship. So I got an additional fuel here. I'll put a little plus there. I can't even. Man, I, again, I prefer a pencil with this. There, and and I'll do one here too per ship. Uh, the U-boat's not a ship. So that's what happens there. Anybody near the U-boat? No, nothing's going on with the U-boat. So now I'm going to have them move one, two, three. So he's going to expend this extra fuel there. Well, maybe I'm not even supposed to exceed. I have to look in the rules if I can exceed. Um the fuel that I have but whatever I have plenty so I'm gonna move the Bismarck three spaces instead of two and get rid of the fuel or the one that I just got right so I'll put the Bismarck right here the Prince the Prince Eugene can move three anyway so it's gonna go one two three and, and go right there that's turn that's the end of turn 16 I'm gonna leave the U-boat there and let's see what happens now. A five and a five. A five five. Let's see. Five five is over here. Uh, wow, we're clear because we're down here in the H. Nothing happens. But the U boat is an F three. U boat's an F three. That is uh, Ramilies and the Repulse. The Repulse is sunk. I don't care to attack the Ramilies. I'm just going to ignore it. So now we put the um, the Bismarck here in Brest, the Prince Eugene right there, and I think we won, right, because, oh gosh, let me put the, because uh, by the way, I'm assuming we don't have to be in that particular square. We're in the grid. We're in the port area. That's the port grid. This is the port grid. We both made it here. The Bismarck and the Prince Eugene made it after turn 16 because that's the end of the turn now, 17. We're going to go into turn 18 now. We both made it. We have three, four, five, six seven eight victory points all we needed was uh let me erase this the arc we actually sunk the arc royal as well we only needed three victory points and, and but you know it's an easy mission but we got fortunate uh now again we're supposed to you know if we were doing this in pencil go over here and write there how many VPs we got and blah, 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 you know, and put the stuff on there and, and keep a record of our uh, of our score. But that's it. It's a, a playthrough. It wasn't like, you know, terribly exciting or anything, but you, you get an idea of how to play this. That's it. You know, it's a quick game. It's a fun game. It could have been, uh, we could have gotten into more trouble, could have been more exciting. Uh, it was fairly smooth. We did well in combat. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. Uh, I'll try to catch any mistakes I might have done and, and, and make little notes on the video. But that's it. Bismarck Solitaire. Very cool. Um, go get one. <laughs>